This is Toby. Toby is a student at the Faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Civil Engineering? That doesn't mean that Toby works on a construction site all day, as there is a lot more to this course than buildings, bricks and booths. If you decide to pursue a career in the construction industry, you're in for a drilling, um, thrilling career. But first, you have to decide whether you want to pursue a Bachelor in Civil and Construction Engineering or Environmental Engineering. Let's start with the classic, Civil and Construction Engineering. In this course of study, you will acquire comprehensive basic knowledge in all areas of Civil Engineering and Construction. You will not only be taught a sound basic knowledge in mathematical and scientific subjects, you will also get the full on-site experience. Starting with a pre-study internship, through a practical semester and on to countless excursions, you will be perfectly prepared for your career. Thus, in your studies you will get the perfect mixture of theory and practice. In addition, you will also have the opportunity to choose a major later on. So you are spoiled for choice as you can specialize in construction management, environment and infrastructure or structural engineering. After graduating, you will be spoiled even more as you can work in the entire construction industry in several construction companies or engineering offices for construction administration, in building services engineering and so on. But you also have the possibility to apply for the bachelor's degree in environmental engineering, become a climate protector and save the earth from destruction. In this course of study, everything revolves around how you can drive the development of the construction industry in harmony with the environment and our climate. On the one hand, you will learn all about the conservation of natural resources. On the other hand, you will learn everything about the use of renewable energies. Also, in this course you will find the perfect mix of theory and practice. You can then deepen your studies in either project management or environment and sustainability. After your studies, you will work in archaeological water management, traffic management, environmental and energy consulting and many other areas. Conclusion? Civil and environmental engineers are needed like concrete on a construction site. And just in case you crave for some more studying after your bachelor's degree, you can add the master's degree in civil and environmental engineering on top. 